Thanks for logging on to Watch.com to get your weather forecast to start off your Friday morning. We've got some showers across parts of the Midlands right now on the western side of the Midlands covering parts of Saluda and Newberry County, even south of Winsboro right now. A lot of the coverage, I should say most of it this morning, is further to our north up near the eastern part of Greenville, extending in that northeast direction towards Charlotte. Let's take a zoom out and look at the southeast right now. It looks like we've got some thunderstorms off of the coast of Georgia, South and North Carolina with cloud coverage across parts of the southeast. Yesterday was kind of gloomy and rainy. Today we're going to kind of have the same setup. We've got that frontal boundary that came through earlier this week now stalled and has lifted to the north as a warm front. That is off the coast of the Carolinas. It's going to gradually start to move inland through this weekend. We also have a little bit of a disturbance further to our west that's going to be moving in that east direction. That's also helping to increase those rain chances through the weekend. Here's a future watch to show you the motion of that warm front lifting further to the north and that disturbance moving further to the east. Here's a look at the rain today on our future watch. You can see clouds very stubborn to break and while there doesn't seem to be very much coverage in terms of the rain, still a good chance for some on and off showers across parts of the Palmetto State today. Looks like a nice line of showers and thunderstorms down near the coast along that frontal boundary moving inland just a bit as that front starts to move inland and again clouds stubborn to break and likely seeing some of those showers continuing overnight and into your Saturday morning. So now we've got our second name storm of the season. Tropical Storm Bertha right now out in the Atlantic expected to strengthen just a bit. Winds right now are 45 miles per hour. You can see it's expected to pick up its wind speed and go to about 50 miles per hour and then continue to move in that northwest direction. The pressure right now is 1,008 millibars it's moving west northwest at 20 miles per hour and the maximum sustained winds are 45 miles per hour we will keep an eye on it but as you can see here by that cone of uncertainty not really posing a threat to us here in south carolina so here's your seven day forecast again those cooler temperatures sticking around through the week or through the weekend, I should say, with rainy conditions to accompany them as well. It looks like we'll finally start to get some sun back at the beginning of next week.